Your Fall by Hey Rosetta. Uh, one of my favorite songs to listen to. Uh, definitely my favorite song to play. Um, it's got a really cool rhythm during the verses, and I love belting it out at the end. Um, but it's actually uh, not too difficult to learn, so uh, hopefully I can show you how, and you can try and play it yourself. Um, we start out, I'll start out with the right hand, uh, but the left hand does almost the same thing at the same time uh, during the verses. Um, but we'll start with just the right hand. So it's going to be a D chord to start, which is D, F sharp, and A. So we'll go D, F sharp, A, F sharp, D, and then the high D. Uh, then the next chord is an A chord, uh, but instead of starting on the A, we're going to be starting on the C sharp down here. So C sharp, E. to a G minor chord, but we're going to start on the A sharp, so it's going to be A sharp, D, G, D, A sharp, and then the high A sharp. Then we go back to the D, but instead of going to the high D, we're just going to go to F sharp, so... one is a uh, B minor chord, but we're going to start it on the D still. So D, F sharp, B, F sharp, D, and then back to the B. Uh, then it's an A chord again, starting on the C sharp. But instead of going up to the high C sharp, we're going just up to the A. And then a G chord starting on the B, so not a G minor this time, so B, D, and G. And then we're back to where we started with the D chord, so it all sounds like this put together. And we play this G twice. That's it. That's the, uh, you play that through the verses and for the intro. Uh, the left hand is doing the same chords, almost the same thing, um, but um, different bass notes sometimes. So, uh, you would, to, to start with, you'd be doing the same thing, the D chord. switch it up so instead of instead of playing um, the B minor starting on the D we'll start on the B because we want that B bass note uh, for our descending bass line here so we go B F sharp B and then for the A chord um, we're going to play with the A as the bass instead of the C sharp so we're going to go G, we'll have the G as the bass note. So, all put together for the left hand sounds like this. together, they're going to be sometimes sharing this middle uh, note. So you'll, you'll start out playing uh, the D like this, but then the last note, you'll be playing it with your other hand. So you got to have your hands fighting for it, um, but not at the same time, so it's not a big deal, uh, but just something to be aware of. So you put them uh, both together, it goes like this. change up 
stuck in that is at the end of the second verse, uh, instead of ending on a G, um, instead of a minor chord so it's just changing this one note and be playing with your thumb from a B to a B flat. Uh, and that's the on only uh, change up during the verses. If you want to get fancy, um, you know, there, there's some fills in there that you can do. that during the song but I don't ever play those because it's already hard enough as it is I'll just play that and it sounds great uh, so that's how you play um, the verses uh, in between the two verses uh, it is uh, G chord G B and D an A A C sharp and E and then a B minor twice super exciting if you just play the chords. I mean, there's other instruments at this part during the song, so when I play it, I'll play the chord in the left hand um, and just improvise something uh, in the key of D with the right hand, um, you know, just playing these notes that are uh, the key of D and just play some simple improvisation. Uh, I'm not very good at improvisation, but do something there um, to fill it in, otherwise it sounds a little bland. But you can just play the chords. You could maybe uh, play out the keys, the bass, the chords on the right, whatever you want to do. Do some kind of rhythm there. Um, so that's how you do the verses. Uh, after the second verse, uh, where we switch to G minor instead of G major, next part I'm not sure uh, what the best way to do it is because in the song there's no piano at all it's just bass and heavily uh, drum focused and I don't have any drums so um, I don't know what to do for this part what I end up doing is um, just play uh, F sharp and B for the bass something along these lines, uh, B, F sharp, A, D, G, C sharp, F sharp, B. So. I just play that twice go to the next part, um, which I'd like to improve that some, but uh, I don't know what to do with it right now. That sounds okay doing that, so that's what I do. Um, for the next part, uh, the I'm not coming out part, it's uh, D chord again. Through it, it's 
instead of going D to A to G, song, um, the My Love is Dead section, uh, it's going to be um, three chords, it's going to be F sharp, and um, B major, instead of minor this time, so F sharp, B major, and um, E flat minor. exciting than just playing that over and over and over again. Um, in the recorded version, of course, they've got a whole band. Start out with just the uh, acoustic guitar, and then start bringing in a little the entrance, and then bring in the whole band, and then everybody's loud. It's a real crescendo. Um, if you're playing then uh, just the piano, you're going to want to do something to uh, imitate that, to get that feeling of a crescendo. Um, so what, sh what I do playing it is I'll start out just playing a uh, single note for the bass. So I'll play F sharp, and then uh, B, and then B flat, B, and I'll just play the one note, first beat of the measure, and that's it. Um, very light, play it lightly. And then maybe the sec second time through I'll still just do the one note and but maybe play it a little louder, maybe play it not just on the first beat of the measure, you know. Something like that. Give it a little fuller sound, uh, and then for the third time, I'll do an octave. sound and then for the final part where you're really belting out the song you want it to be as loud as you can top of the crescendo you go you know I, I'll do it um, instead of just playing um, like this I'll play. and uh, just play it loud and rock out um, so that's how you play the whole song. Uh, I'll put in the description on the video all the chords and, and notes so that you can look at it. And I uh, hope this helps. If you got any questions, uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks.